My name is Jan Welch, and welcome to the sixth episode of The Vault on the Then and Now Blading YouTube channel. The Vault is my collection of HSC, Hi8, and Mini DV tapes that I've filmed throughout the years. Each episode of The Vault features raw footage from one of those tapes with my commentary over it. Today's tape goes back to 2003 and features footage from my video United Front 2 Trash. The skaters appearing on this episode are Mathieu Heinemann from France, Benny Hermanus from Germany, John Elliott, Brian Shima, Chris Haffey, Damian Wilson, Brandon Campbell, Jesse McLean, and Mac McMeans. This footage was filmed in San Diego and Oceanside, California, and has a lot of hammers from the early days of blading in it. It also has a very cool trick from Brian Shima, and that is the very first time he ever did alley-oop sole to top sole on the handrail. And if you've seen this in any of the videos since, let me know in the description what it was, because I'd love to see it. You may have noticed that my speech is a little bit off today with a slight lisp. It's because I got Invisalign braces last week, and it's my sixth day, and it's taken getting used to. It's actually the worst it's been right now just talking in front of camera. So hopefully it rectifies itself over the course of these videos. Uh, I did have a really bad overbite, which affected my speech and the way I eat, so it's something I needed. But... Bear with me, it's going to get better over time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and hit the like button and go ahead and share it with your friends and on social media. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to be notified of all new uploads. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel really help me to create more content because it helps with YouTube's analytics. So I really appreciate if you can do those things so we can have more cool content in the future. If you want to support this channel and everything I'm doing with Then and Now Blading, consider becoming a Patreon member. Patreon members will receive exclusive content, first looks and perks not available on the YouTube channel. And I'd like to give a thank you to my current Patreon supporters. Thank you all so much for supporting this channel and believing in what I'm doing with it. So I'm really stoked on that. Thank you very much. Also, I have links to my social media below if you want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Let's get started with episode 6 of The Vault. The first spot on this tape is Point Loma High School. Point Loma is a school famous for the Leap of Faith, which is behind the building you're looking at with a staircase on the roof. Now, this is Mathieu Heinemann, and Mathieu is from France. Most of you know that he's an amazing skater. You've got Kato from Remedies back in the yellow hat in the background. Anyway, Mathieu is an incredible skater. And the thing about Mathieu is he is the only skater that we wanted to put on 4x4 that turned us down. So, and that was, you know, he has reasons. He didn't want to be sponsored at that point. But that's who we really wanted on the team. And he wasn't on it. And, you know, he's still skating hard. And I love Mathieu. Such a nice guy. Awesome dude. He can jump so high. I mean, look how high this flat rail is. It's incredible. Oh, <laughs> so high. So sick. Boom. This school, Point Loma High, I mean, it has so many spots. It's got... Down rails, down ledges, flat ledges, had the leap of faith. It's got high rails, crazy drops, like so many hammers have been done. And it's a shame that, you know, a lot of my tapes from the school have been recorded over. Now we've got Mitu doing the ledge in front of Point Loma High School. This is John Elliott filming these first two clips, by the way. I'd said in the last video that he didn't film very much, which is true. So it's kind of funny that I have another tape in a row with him filming. Now he's picked a creative angle through the car. And Mathieu's doing back, uh, back Nugent to back Royale, kind of switching his feet over, which looks pretty rad on this ledge. Um, Nicholas Bellini also did this ledge back in the day, from also from France. But... This is a pretty gnarly ledge, and what's really gnarly about this ledge is you can see the cars. It's a major road, and it's like, you know, 40 miles an hour speed limit. So you have to be watching. You need a spotter to be watching, because this is a good spot to potentially get hit. And, you know, 
possibly die. So, wouldn't want that, want that to happen. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this ledge was capped years ago now. Sick. Just laced it. Uh, Matthew's so sick. It's like a budgety switch up, but it's such a sick switch up, and that was so gnarly. He was lucky to get hurt. Let's see, a car's coming, had to stop. Ah, uh, laced it. Now we've got Benny Hermanos from Germany about to skate this crazy drop rail. So uh, just bank to flat to drop. John Elliott's also filming this trick. It's pretty gnarly. The back view doesn't give it justice because you'll see later from another angle how gnarly the drop is. Down there below, you have um, Sonder Knook shooting photos, a good friend of ours. Also on the session was Dan Busta shooting photos for Daily Bread magazine. I think Sonder was also shooting for Daily Bread. And a session like this where you have so many good skaters... You want to have more than one photographer and more than one filmer. Damn, Benny. It's such a big drop. It's so crazy. Benny did some gnarly drops. I mean, one of the things I filmed with him in Germany was a gap at least, you know, as big as the Leap of Faith. So he can take impact even though that looked like it really hurt. So this session here, obviously we have Matthew and we have Benny. Also at the school was Damian Wilson, Nick Wood, who didn't really skate anything, Chris Haffey, and then Brian Shima showed up later. Also, Chance Dunstan was there. I'm not sure if he skated anything or not, but I don't have any footage of him. And then Kato's there hanging out. Uh, so, yeah, it was a pretty solid crowd. This is another spot at Point Loma High. Uh, this clip was in United Front 2. Got some spectators. Mathieu also jumping super high on this ledge. I mean, a lot of people skate that down, the little down flat you see there from the other side. But Mathieu's the only person I ever saw skate the ledge from that side. All right. Now, I'm filming at this point. That's John Elliott pulling Mathieu in his truck for more speed. That's pretty gnarly. Look at him go. Oh, you would have been sick as going over the other side and down. I never even thought about that. Oh, looks like he might have tapped the ledge with his hands, but wow, that was super sick. Whole thing, fakey, boom. That was really sick. Go for it again. Ah, oh, so good. Man. It was really fun seeing Matthew at Winter Clash last time I was there. Such a, just like I said before, just such an awesome guy. Great personality, super nice, and just so good at blading. Man. Something about the, some of these French skaters. You know, like Nicholas Blini, like I mentioned before. I mean, it's just so good at street skating. And then they have so many skaters so good at park and competition. Just like a feast. Like, Francis Bread, some of the best skaters in the history of our sport. That is for sure. <laughs> hey, look, all smalls. He was like, oh, I'm going to fall each on his crazy ledge. All good. That was Dan Busta shooting. There he is on the right-hand side. Brian Shima attempting this ledge. Very famous ledge. Very famous rail. Connor O'Brien, disaster top sold that rail in trash in United Front 2 in a section to Susan DeBanshee's Hong Kong Garden. I really enjoyed that section. Now Shima's just trying to back Royale down flat on that ledge. Damien Wilson back Nuganen. And back far from Nugan's Damien's safety trick. He can pretty much back far from Nugan anything. If you've seen Damien Wilson sections, he... I mean, you've seen the drops where he does back Nugan. 
and then drops down like four feet to like a flat rail back Nugan. Like, and that's far for Nugan. Short Nugan is short for it. Yeah, Mathieu didn't skate this side, so it's funny everybody skated different things at this school. And there's Haffy in the white. Should still be. All these guys should still be skating for mind game at this point. It's a pretty gnarly ledge just to try over and over again. Boom. Backside. <laughs> Man, what a gnarly trick on that. And he's already skated so hard. He's done so much skating already at this school. And he just keeps going. Like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> Super sick. These old sessions of Point Loma. Like, I mean, we went there all the time. Never got kicked out. Never. I, I don't know if I have the footage from... Leap of Faith attempts. I mean, so many tapes have been recorded over, like I said before, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, I have a lot, but I've lost a lot, too. Uh, come on, Shima, you got this. A lot of wind noise. Must have been a windy day. I remember that was kind of a little wind tunnel there with the between the building and the ledge walls. It's just the architecture. I mean, it's such a big school and it has so much to skate. And like, I mean, just to design that ledge is really bizarre, you know? I'd love to see uh, what else this architect built. And that's the thing about San Diego too, I mean, it has, you know, hundreds of schools, and every single one of them has multiple spots. It's like, uh, some of the best schools I've ever been to in my life are in San Diego. I mean, unbelievable. Some of them do have a lot of fences around them, and we're talking about, like, high fences, you know, 15, 20 feet that you would have to climb over. Um, this school didn't have any fencing, which was nice. Easy access, you could just park. You can literally park at this spot, the other spot. Um, there's a like a ten stair down rail on the other side of this building that Mike Johnson skated. Um, maybe in uh, United Front too, or United Front, oh, one of them. Shit, <laughs> now half is eyeing this uh, transfer right here, where you can roll down and transfer to the ledge. Damien Wilson is just trying that back Nugent over and over and over again. <laughs> it's got to be frustrating. Oh, so close. And that could have been bad, too. Oh, and a gone over the other side. Halfy eyeing it. Uh, back Royale. He needs some speed. But you coming back with that backside. Exact same thing that happened last time we tried it. Uh, he's looking like it hurt his butt a little bit. He's rocking that Artism sweater too. Which was a cool brand from France. Dan. Trying to get that Shima shot. And Shima laces it. That was super sick. He took his hat off. The Mohawk might have helped. Halfy. Oh, look at that. Roll to back. Unity, back stab, one of the two. Back Savannah. Uh, or Savannah. Whatever. Super sick. <laughs> His white shirt and hat with this with the blown out ledge, definitely blends in. There's Chance Dunstan right there, sitting in a chair. Shima. 
She was having his victory drink after lacing that back royale. That was super sick. Oh, oh, so close. Happy. Happy took the beanie off. Just like Shima took the hat off. Maybe it's going to help him lace a trick. Oh, so much better. I think that's the thing, you know? No hats equals better skating. And he laced it. Look at that. Super rad. Such a sick hammer. All right, this school. This is an ocean beach. And I forgot the name of the school. But it's a pretty cool spot. Um, it's off Hill Street in Ocean Beach. And Shima came to do 360s down here. We've also filmed this school in the past with a table setup. We set up these tables all over the place. And people dropping in. John Elliott dropped in off the roof on the table. Um, Stockwell did a bunch of stuff. I don't remember which video it was in. It might have been in this video as well. Ah, uh, <laughs> that was so sick. That was a clip I used, I believe, just because I liked how he hit the trash can and everything. It was very wild and cool. I'm not sure what that noise is in the background. Kind of annoying. Ah, uh, doing it again. Ah, uh, so sick. He's not happy with it because his feet weren't landed together, but it was still pretty rad. Now this spot, right this spot right is here, it. Shima filming it. It's Chris oh, Haffey. Yeah, this is a, this spot's not there anymore. They tore it down. It's apartments and condos now. So no one can ever do this again. The first person to ever hit this gap was John Elliott. He 180'd it. Um, Haffey is going to try to 180 it too. And he laced it. Super sick. First try, 180. Now he's eyeing something bigger. So he's hungry. And what he really wants is a 540. But you go, he's got to psych himself up. Because that's pretty gnarly. It's a pretty gnarly gap, the 540. I mean, it's gnarly enough to 180, but, you know, those extra rotations on there. You got this, Chris. Hopefully. Hopefully. Nope. Psych himself out. You got this, dude. Can you lace it? Listen to Shima. Send it. We didn't we didn't have that phrase back in the day. There nobody said send it. That's a new that's a new Do it, school. Chris, right here. There's uh, Saunders shooting photos. Chance Johnson behind him. Oh, oh, no. He didn't land it. Oh. Going back. Right here. You got this, Chris. Fuck yeah, Chris. The stoke is real at this session. I don't know if anyone ever did this again, you know, before it was torn down. It's possible. It's definitely a uh, a pretty memorable spot. I think we're all ready, Chris. I mean, we got the greatest skater of all time, and you can really see, like, he needs to get himself psyched up. Oh, that looked like it hurt really bad.
And he going at it again. Tip number three. Oh, and it's a no-go. And looks like he, oh, Chris, you all right? he might have hurt himself a little bit on that one. Did you hurt your ankle? This is around the time that Chris Haffey did the Leap of Faith attempt where he did hurt his ankle as well. So he's uh, probably still recovering from that. There's Matthew watching in awe as Chris contemplates jumping this again. Oh no, attempt number four, and that's it. It did not happen on this session. We did go back and he did lace it again in the future. So we will have to find that tape and see what happens. Now, this is the final spot on this tape. This is a school in Oceanside. I try to find the name of it. I try to look it up on Google Maps. No luck. Um, it has Haffy, Shima, Brandon Campbell's on here, Mac McMeans, and uh, John Elliott with the Mistral. Look as super stylish in his ground control jacket. There's Brandon Campbell. Haffy. Sagging his pants. Brandon Campbell is... This is Jesse McLean. He's a local from the area. He was really good friends with Shima. They did a lot, spent a lot of time together. Did a lot of fishing. Um, they were in the car stuff. So Jesse was a really cool kid. I don't know who's shooting photos right here. I don't recognize him. I'd love to see his pics if he still has them though. So Brandon is a skater that I always want to film a section with. And it never happened because he got hurt every time we were going to do something. So that Royale right there, that was for Mac McBeans. And Mac was the team manager for Razors. And also the sales guy at Razors. So if you're around in you know, the early 2000s, you'd have known Mac McMeans. Crazy dude, a lot of fun, super cool. But yeah, never got to make a section with Brandon. Filmed a lot of cool clips with him over the years, but definitely one of the guys I really wanted to do something with and never had a chance. <laughs> super sick backslide. Switch up the angle. Looks like I'm uh, John. Those mistrials are so stylish. You know, John is one of those guys. He didn't have to do crazy spin to win tricks or switch ups. Just like one simple like trick, like a soul or mistrial or fish brain was just so sick like his style is amazing a jesse the back nugan uh quick john's trying to do mistrial step over alley of porn which is a priest rad trick b cam with the fast slide back fast slide oh john it'd be so sick and look at John had the long hair back then. See John later in the years he had a shaved head, so big difference. Shima with his fish brain. Seen him do that style fish brain on some big ledges uh, in some of my videos I've done. This is a pretty cool spot. I, you know, when I was looking at the maps, I'm looking at all the schools, and all of them look so new. So I'm not sure if it's been torn down or it was probably obstructed with that roof. I couldn't see the rail. So, but yeah, definitely Oceanside, California, is where this spot was, and that's near where the screen printer we used for four x four and ground control at first was an Oceanside. So that was, uh, we spent a lot of time up there. Me and John Elliott would drive up there, eat at this place called Rooster Burger or Red Rooster and they had a burger called the Rooster Burger. And it was really good, very delicious. Um, I'm not sure what camera, it looks like that lens, I could be filming 
with the Razer's XL1 camera here. Because both Razer's and Daily Bread had XL1s. So, um, Quattro, Noah's Children, and uh, some of still this video I filmed with XL1. Um, that looked like it could have been an XL1 lens. Not, not for sure. It's possible. Um, most of the time we used Shima. It had a GL1 with a Century Optics fisheye. Early on, I had my first mini DV camera was a Sony T V nine Handycam, and that's where I got all my early footage from um, Last Call and United Front were filmed with the Sony T V nine. Uh, and like I said, you know that's some of that lost footage. I did find some early tapes from the nineties uh, filmed with that camera, so I'm excited to have those episodes shown to you all in the future. Mac Royale three out. When I first moved to San Diego, Mac lived pretty close to me. Um, before moving into North County, which is where Razors is at. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, fun times. He lived next to Garfield. Oh! That's the trick. Alley soul to top soul. Holy shit! Oh, yeah. He's super stoked. He's never done that before. Telling John about it. So rad. <laughs> so rad. Oh, happy. That was sick. Brandon Campbell, topsail. That's all I got. There's some glitches on this footage. You could just see it there. That's why these tapes really have to get logged all. I mean, I've logged uh, at least 150 tapes so far. Um, going back through them, I noticed that I was going through a lot of them on the computer yesterday and realized only like five minutes and some tapes got logged so I have to go back through and re-log some and see what's on there um, even the tapes are only like 40 minutes long it should be 60 minutes so I'm gonna go double check everything and make sure I got all the footage and all these tapes because I enjoy watching these I hope you do as well Oh. <laughs> Brandon Campbell. He lived up in Temecula, which is north of San Diego uh, and east of Orange County. Uh, it's also where Tristan Feeney lived. That was a sick switch up. Um, and we used to go up there and film with him. Super cool spot. Lots of schools. You know, I mean, that era of young kids in the early 2000s in San Diego County and Orange County was just outstanding. Tobacco was actually not that far from Escondido, so he would have been able to skate with the Escondido guys quite a bit. Oh, Mac, now with the Soyal. John Top Acid, like I said... Every trick John does is just so stylish. Boom. Laced it. That was sick. Yeah, that was good, Chris. Oh, Brandon. This is um, the only time we ever went to the school, so that's another reason I had trouble tr locating it. And it's the only spot the school had. You know, like I said, others, most schools have a lot of spots. This is one of those rare schools that only has one spot. Good job. Good job. 
It's kind of a bummer because John didn't actually land any of those tricks into the bank. Like, they all looked rad, but not one. And look at that. Oh, Shima. Oh, switching it up with that little flat. Getting creative. And then it's just too fast. Oh, I think he's trying to go top acid. Top acid. Oh. And this is going to be the last trick on the tape. Uh, nope, that's it. Wow, there was some really good skating in this episode. Haffy killed it. That gap, 540. I can't wait to find a tape where he actually lands it. And Mathieu Heinemann was so good. And the drop on that rail that Benny Hermanis was doing at Point Loma High School was insane. You know, super crazy. And then just seeing that footage of Brian Shima doing Ali Sol to Top Soul for the very first time ever, that's like a moment in blading history that was super cool to see and find on this tape. And, you know, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure and hit the like button. Please, please hit the like button. Please share it. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon to be notified of all new uploads. And make sure to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I have links in the description below that you can check out, click on them, visit my social media pages. And if you want to support this channel, I also have links to my Patreon page and the PayPal donation link in the description below as well. Thanks for watching this episode. I will see you all next time in the vault. Take care and goodbye.